think we're live. Are we now? I think so. Are we live? I think so, in theory. But in the meantime, I'm Surfer Doom. I'm Kyle. I'm Corey. Yes. So we are live here from Podkid Studios. Uh, At an undisclosed location. Yes, it's in the basement of the arcade, <laughs> more or less. Uh, which we should not reveal. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is episode 24, recorded on October 6, 2015. Uh, so yeah. What have you guys been up to, kind of thing? Well, I've been playing a lot of Destiny. Yeah. Uh, I've I got I went to Destiny for like five minutes and recorded the intro for us, and then that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the end of my Destiny. So whatever free time I have, I'm just trying to complete missions, and mm. right now I'm doing the really long exotic uh, sword quest, mm. get the level three ten sword. Uh, it's, oh, it's, is that the exotic sword? Yeah. Isn't there like more than one? Yeah, you can either get the solar, void, or arc. Mm. The arc you could just throw out like at a pr- for a pretty far distance. The void does like a whirlwind attack like Zelda. Mm-hmm. And the, the solar one just does a lot of damage. Right, it's just filling the chat with a bunch of hot dogs and food. <laughs> get and your stuff. Taco Bell chicken biscuit today. Yeah. <laughs> they seriously made like six emot- emoticons out of out of taco bell foods mm. i love it. it didn't you get taco bell today so yes yes I, I wish they made one out of like the five layer burrito but it's mm. it, not the closest they have is uh what do you got what do you got what do you got what is this one? Oh, it's the it's the sriracha thing mm. i think they're releasing a an update to the emoticons they're gonna add a taco really and yes. ta- and destiny and uh in the um, in Twitch. Oh, I guess uh, I'm thinking about the yeah. iPhone. Oh, the iPhone gotcha. emoticons. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the long-awaited taco. Speaking of emoticons and or such, I hear Destiny has gone. Whoa. Uh, transition. So so good. <laughs> so, so well, technically, good. I think Kyle was the tran- started the transition. Yeah. <laughs> so just like, I had like, the thought. Yeah. So I just took it. Uh. So. Uh, Destiny's getting like some micro trans- transactions, but it's only for emotes and such. So yeah. cosmetic stuff. I feel like this is just the beginning, but it is gonna help them be able to develop more content for the game in the long run. So yeah, I'm okay with it as long as they don't like. In order to get this exotic gun, you only have to pay five ninety nine for it. <laughs> yeah, they they've tried to assure everyone that they won't. F- affect gameplay in any way no <laughs> for now <Yeah. laughs> for now yeah, we'll see about that so it's not pay to win like hearthstone or anything no well even for well even if you uh with hearthstone you so you could craft everything mm-hmm. so if you only got a bunch of junk you could get the cards you want by dismantling and yeah crafting, but buying it, enough yeah i guess you would just have to keep buying a bunch of junk in order to get it mm-hmm. so they I read an, a little article on Reddit. I think you need like a thousand packs of the original set and around 400 or so of the um, two other sets. Mm-hmm. So you have to buy a lot of stuff just to get a full collection. Yeah. I, I read like someone like spent like two or five thousand dollars like cr- buying a bunch of packs and stuff to get every card or in the game or something. yeah it's just like ridiculous there's more people than you would think that have done that yeah i thought i have a good challenge like for like charity or you know just like some kind of thing where you know how what's the quickest amount of time you could do to get every card in mm-hmm. the game but that, that but then i read that article i'm like maybe not yeah that, yeah it's gonna cost you a lot of money just yeah. to do that yeah but uh yeah so what uh what kind of streams have you been up to or watching have oh, you watched streams. any streams are you mm-hmm. what yes. are, are you kidding <laughs> yeah um jeez uh i mean i've been watching a whole bunch of people play uh mario maker right now yeah because that, that that's gotten like really popular on twitch just uh people playing like other people's levels uh people trying to troll each other that that's gotten really big <laughs> has there been like a twitch war you know like like two players like keep crap making other levels to outdo each other uh no rivalries as of yet but uh, there is one guy who has who has definitely gotten a reputation 
for making like some really just brutal levels. Mm. Uh, his name is, uh, well, I actually have him in here somewhere. He must be really good at the game. He is actually to make a level like that. And here's the thing too: it's like he it, it usually takes him like anywhere from like twenty minutes to an hour to beat his own level. Oh sh! I mean, it, not not all in one sitting. It's just like a million different tries. But oh, uh, hmm. Pangea Penga. Hmm. His okay. levels are. are did, did you ever hear about like Kaizo Mario? I uh, that's like when they actually like mod the game before. In it, Japan. it was a ROM hack before. Yeah. you know any of this existed years and years ago. Yeah. Uh, Kaizo Mario was just known for being absolutely brutal. You know, you try and jump over a gap and and uh, invisible block sends you straight <laughs> to the bottom. You know, you're dead. Yeah. That, that was like the epitome of a Kaizo trap. You just something you just can't see coming, won't see coming, will die to no matter what you do. Yeah. Uh, until you've tried it like a hundred times and oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. You know? Yeah. Um, but he has the advantage, he knows exactly he what he's knows. supposed to, he just has to execute. Exactly, yeah. He, he designs the level so he knows what to do but um, yeah. I mean, usually you, you throw your um, you throw your level out and within like a week, you know, a hundred people have beaten it. Maybe a thousand people have beaten it if it's slightly more popular. Maybe a hundred thousand if it's like the best level ever. Mm -hmm. uh, his levels, um, there's one that he released hmm, close to when it started. It was called Pea Break. And to today, I think 12 people have beaten it. That says a lot. Yeah. Maybe? Yeah, yeah. It's... <laughs> It's it's on that level, it's on that level, and it, it it's it's so fun to just like sit down and watch him design these things because he, he just goes like bit by bit. By oh, I didn't bit. think about that, like yeah. watching live streams of him making yeah, the he, levels. I'm I'm so glad he actually does live streams because it, it's amazing to see like everything that goes into it. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I, I I've tried like another game similar. It's called Little Big Plant. I don't know if you've heard, heard of it. I've heard of it. Yeah, it's never basically... heard of it. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> it, well it's another game where you make your own levels yeah. and games and such and i played around with it and I'm like i'm not gonna make anything creative but i played a few really creative levels and you, people when they have like if that's the only game they have and they have tons of time and creativity you can get some pretty cool levels uh, i've they, seen some yeah yeah like now, did you play the second one or just uh I, yeah i played one? the second one i didn't get uh i didn't have a ps4 at the time when we the third one came uh the oh mr fluffs is not here <laughs> uh so yeah like uh let's see what was this thing mr fluffs you made me forget what i was saying <laughs> uh little big planet yes little big planet. didn't have a ps4 oh yeah uh the little big planet 3 i think it is i'm i'm a, i guess i'm the only one here i don't know uh i think it is three uh that I didn't have it, but we're going to eventually go to um, uh, go back and do some like old PS4 and Xbox One uh, games that just like you know launch styles and such. So we'll eventually get to that. Um, but yeah, like I I've seen like a few things that people are really creative with uh, the Mario Maker and such. Yeah. Uh, like uh, but yeah, like uh, some I, some uh, of my favorites are like the puzzle levels. Like yeah. The amount of detail that go into some of those, just like, I, I, I don't know what else to say about them, but because yeah. uh, they're, they're all different, you know, that that's what I love about them. Yeah. And we are totally going to play that at some point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Any Club. other games you guys remember that had uh, good, like, creative uh, modes? Um, I'm sure I can think of a couple. I'm trying um, to remember, like, a really early one. My, my earliest one was uh, StarCraft. Yeah. Um, they had the widest range of custom maps and it actually was the source of all the uh, League of Legends and Defense of the Ancients was through the Blizzard uh, user created uh, map maker. So yeah, um, that was probably the biggest biggest one. Man. I'm still trying to remember like what was like the earliest thing where you can make a level that I played. I mean, <laughs> Minecraft is the most obvious because that is like really early on, or not too recently ago, but it's still quite a few years ago. Um, Fluff says Destiny Forge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I guess Halo 3 was probably it. Uh, that was probably like the earliest one. I mean, there's probably a bunch of other ones like 
I remember like if miss had like a, you can make like a little map or something that's like a challenge thing you know like a challenge arena you could place enemies to go fight and such mm-hmm. I mean it was very basic and such so I, I don't consider that a level maker but it's, I guess it is a little bit but um, I remember making cool uh, levels on Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 yeah <laughs> Just, I'm just gonna make this. Uh, I made like a like it was a straight long elongated map, and you just had to get through it, get to the other end to to win. So it was it was kind of like a made it into like a Mario kind of platformer, but yeah. skating. Yeah, and, speaking of, yeah, but uh, speaking of Tony Hawk, uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater oh Five, my God, two yes. points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So people don't know if you can make a transition really smooth and seamless, you get a point. And then the, at the end, we tell it the points, and the points don't matter. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I, I've seen a few videos. Uh, it's kind of broken. <laughs> a little bit. Don't How just... broken? How is it broken? Uh, I think a jigsaw puzzle is less broken. <laughs> <laughs> uh. This is obviously kind of like a last grab kind of thing because I don't think many people were expecting a Tony Hawk game to come out, let alone be good kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, there was like another boring game, uh, Skate. Was it Skate Three? Skate Three had a lot of glitches in it. Yeah, but I mean, it was at, at least it was functional. Yeah, you know? to a gr- degree. Like to I've degree. I've seen like where you go up a ramp and then you go through it. Yeah, I mean, on, I mean uh, it, Tony Hawk. If you want, just like some fun. Uh, j- j- just some time. If you have some time for fun, uh, Helix Snake is a YouTube channel. Um, just does nothing but like finds a bunch of video game glitches and things. But uh, he he doesn't do it anymore. But for a while he was doing like a bunch of Skate Three, and it, it was some of the funniest stuff <laughs> I ever watched. Just yeah. find like his compilations and oh my god. Uh, yeah, when I mean when you have to go and do play uh, some of the broken games just to laugh at it. You know, it's just like, you know, that's, that's part of the charm of I some mean, of them. But, yeah, like Bethesda yeah. Is like no, has like a re- reputation for it and such. Oh, but, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And I have a fluff quote right here. Uh, Tony Hawk Pro Scare is stuck like a boss. Stuck like a boss. Mr. Fuss, <laughs> 2015. Uh, <laughs> nice yes. Uh, but I told it good. Yeah. Was there any uh, particular games that you like, uh, had like a good bug in it that you liked? Mm. or not maybe not like it just happened randomly i mean for me it probably happened in reach uh halo reach a lot you know just like all of a sudden you're walking and all of a sudden oh crap i'm going across the map in the multiplayer game or something yeah you just get launched somewhere <laughs> out of the map <laughs> uh let's see what i mean because it's pretty good for like their bugs and such Took an arrow to the knee we, we got what you meant flips um yeah he meant halo forge uh, <laughs> yeah, did I say Destiny Forge or did I say Halo Forge? I could have sworn I said Halo. You, you read it and then you said Halo, so you, you got it. Yeah, got it. I, I thought he said Destiny. Forge. The Destiny should have a Forge mode. <laughs> yeah, yeah it Destiny sh- would be awesome. With, with I think Fluffs sort of is from the future. <laughs> <laughs> Twitch <laughs> chat Fluffs. Is you know, from you the got future. you got you probably got an early access to the uh, loot crate. Uh huh. Fluffs. Uh, you know, fl- uh, which is uh, time travel next time. <laughs> so. Uh, he probably got that early. Got DeLorean, you know, just instead of resending the one he missed, they sent the one from the future. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. Uh, Never lucky. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Did, spe- speaking of the of just like creative content, though, uh, one thing that hasn't come out that I'm really looking forward to is is the uh, Doom. Like oh yeah. well that's coming out in like 2016 yeah that's, that's 2016 but i'm still looking forward yeah like that was the that was uh crazy like uh, how much you could control and lay out levels and stuff and i think doom like even er- back in like the 80s or 90s like this has like a reputation like i think it started like the whole modding thing like you get like discs in the mail and such and like make your own levels and create new stuff and mm-hmm. just all the time and there was like another one that was like uh it's like a multiplayer game. It's like uh, there's like two castles and it's floating in space and there's like a ring in the middle. It's like a really famous map. Um, is it within Doom, or is it's it using the- like that similar engine like from like way back in the day? Uh, uh, what was it? Was it? It's like uh, it's, I don't know. It's like <laughs> it's one of those early multiplayer games, but it's like uh. 
but yeah, I'm really excited for Doom. It looks really awesome. I, I mean, I'm in, I'm more interested in the campaign itself. Uh, but uh, speaking of no campaign, uh, I hear Call of Duty got no is taking out its campaign in the, the previous gen consoles. Is it really? Yeah, it's like they're. Pre- I heard that. Yes, yeah, basically they're taking everything, uh, leaving just the multiplayer and zombies. I guess because I guess the campaign is like too <laughs> parkour rich to <laughs> yeah. handle on the old gen kind of thing. I mean, it makes sense, but if at that point you're pretty much getting half the game kind of thing, so it really is just. Would they sell it go- for cheaper? Maybe. Uh, it's getting a ten dollar decrease. Ten dollars. Yeah. That's how much the campaign is worth. Uh, Ten dollars. I, I personally, I would uh, expect the campaign to be more than the multiplayer. But I know as much of, as a map pack. Yeah, I know <laughs> multiplayer is really big and stuff. But that, if you think about it, there's a lot less maps in the camp in the multiplayer. It's like you know, ten or so maps with mm-hmm. campaign. You have like these long stretching maps and stuff. So yeah. it's a lot bigger and there's more voice acting and every other stuff. So. They probably put a lot more time into the campaign stuff. I'm thinking. I feel yeah. like it. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I just that, think that is kind of sad that they have to like you know put that kind of a value to the part of yeah. their product that's so substantial. Mm-hmm. Maybe they. Yeah. S- I think they. You also get uh, the last Black Ops two for free, so as like a kind of like I, contribution. That's good to hear about that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know exactly if you get like DLC with that or if it's just the main game or something, but. That's less that. Uh, it plus says that COD, uh, he read that there there will be like a pretty good campaign. I mean, I, I don't know. I, uh, I've kind of fallen out of the loop on the whole COD thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've never gotten into it, but I, I hear a lot of people were very interested in this uh, coming Call of Duty uh, campaign. It was actually like, um, well, obviously it's taking place in the future, but I don't know like what's happening. I think there's like conspiracy or something. I'm not exactly Isn't sure. Always- <laughs> well yeah i guess there is uh but yeah it's, maybe it's taking up place on our planet or something I well it's know. not kevin spacey anymore no Unfortunately. was that call of duty or was that, it that was call of duty yeah that, that was um oh which one was that that was advanced warfare 2 wasn't it was it or Ke- or no it was, was the most no. recent one. Oh, was it Ad- advanced because Advanced keep, Warfare Two it. came out a long time ago. Yeah, yeah I know. Those, and then there's Advanced Warfare um, Three too. That came out yeah. even more recent. Yeah. <laughs> Expert Call of Duty players, right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I haven't played since the third one. Yeah. I don't know what a prestige is, but I totally have it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, it's prestige Four. Yeah, I prefer Halo. <laughs> Speaking of Halo, that's coming out pretty soon. Though. Yeah. And we actually yeah. are seeing a lot more trailers and stuff for that. That's actually something that's really decent looking like i'm actually really excited for it i mean i wasn't too thrilled about the whole hunt for the truth kind of thing i mean Mm -hmm. it was like i don't know it seemed gimmicky but then it's like i'm seeing more and more i'm like okay i'm just want to play it now so i can figure out what the hell's going on kind of thing you're warming up to the idea yeah i mean i I mean i'm really uh happy that they're doing like four player co-op with this because that was kind of like something that's always struck me as weird you know it's like in our games it's like you when you do co-op you always get more than one master chief but mm-hmm. there's only one Master Chief, but you can't customize the other ones. And it was like, they're all the same the po- person. Then what's the point? And then you go in the cutscene, and it's like everyone, and then all of a sudden, those four magically turn into one yeah. <laughs> merge thing. And it was like, okay, kind of thing. But then also, I saw like uh, some more footage of like the, I don't know what it's called, but it's like you get two, uh, it's PvP, but then there's also a bunch of bots and ca- uh, yeah, yeah, running yeah. around and stuff. Do you know what that's called? It's it's called like Fire Team or something? I know it's just like a huge big team battle. Uh, I'm not sure the exact numbers. Yeah. But uh, what I like about it is like you don't have, to, if you're not really good at a shooter, you could be like a sport role mm-hmm. kind of thing. Like you can be like on the t- on the sides repairing stuff or doing other things, which I think is always good to or have like that. Killing the NPCs. That, and that helps points. too. Or you uh, can go and attack and kill like uh, the high ranking NPCs, which mm-hmm. are like can like kill you one shot kind of thing so you kind of need to team up on them but or you could just be the driver of a warthog or whatever yeah. and drive r- around people and stuff yeah, yeah um, I, I haven't played halo much at all but i have to say that the the one time or one or two times that i did get a chance to i i thoroughly enjoyed it so i'm i'm looking forward to see what comes yeah the, they are taking away the multiplayer for split screen mm which disappointed a lot of people 
Uh, is our audio good? Oh, yeah, that's what I'm looking at. I'm like... Uh, Flips, are you there? Uh, if you can hear us. Yeah, like, I I mean, Flips was commenting on what we are saying, so assuming yeah. he has it. I mean, I think he has... Or he's a lip reader. No. Uh, he, how would he know what we're saying if he did, he couldn't hear <laughs> us, kind of thing? Uh, someone's saying in the chat, well, we don't have audio, but uh, there was other people that were hearing us, so I'm wondering. Can you hear your us but it was the same guy that was saying last time we had like bot, bad audio too like it was staticky and stuff but i went back to the recording and we we're fine so yeah like, i watched the last one and it uh, seemed good i heard you yeah, i think he, it's him yeah he, he just said it's static and the picture glitching out i did see i'm, I'm looking at it on my phone and i did see yeah it that's a, something i have to fit fiddle with it's like basically i have to keep I have to do, like, a test stream and, like, constantly fill for, like, an hour or two. I don't think that's going to be most entertaining thing, but it fl- it flickers in and out every now and then. It's just because of wires and such. So. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I think... Uh, so if you see uh, us going live in the middle of the night, don't pay attention. Yeah, that's probably not. <laughs> you probably just watch me, like, look at <laughs> a computer monitor for a good hour or so kind of thing most entertaining thing on the planet right there right yeah uh speaking most entertaining thing on the planet uh (laughs) negative point okay (laughs) uh but i uh so basically i saw uh the martian yes uh we won't go into spoilers too much here but uh i I gotta duck out of the room before they do that because yeah uh, basically we're gonna do a, a movie discussion of the martian with spoilers and stuff after the podcast so be sure to turn into that so if you're interested yeah uh but I've heard a lot of good things about the book itself, and like a lot of people were really excited about that, and then uh, a lot of people were going crazy about the trailer. So, was, and I'm always a big sci-fi fan, so mm-hmm. especially like, you know, we don't get that many like traditional sci-fi or space movies kind of thing. It's always yeah. like aliens coming to kill us, yeah, kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, this was more scientific based. Yeah, so uh, like I like gravity and in, in Star and stuff. So that's, uh, but. Overall, I, I like this one quite a bit. Um, I actually kind of liked it more than Interstellar. Gravity was kind of a, something else because the music itself mm-hmm. was very different than everything else. Like, it was very dramatic music that it kind of stuck with you even after the movie. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of really interesting to see and really interesting concept. It, like, it really is, like, got science right in this mm-hmm. one, so... But yeah. I'm, look, I'm looking forward to seeing it when I do. You, yeah. you did mention the book though, and I do find it amusing that uh, like a lot of people when they heard this this thing was coming out and um, and it was based on this book, they they all like flocked to this book mm-hmm. and uh, they all had to read it before it came out and everything so they could judge it on how well it, it relayed the book. I, I don't know if it's just me. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're getting some freezing. Uh, let me look at my. Th- menu uh i'm still good on this side if people can't tell uh, we're still very new to streaming it's basically yeah. we're trying it and see how it goes but you can only i can only fiddle with it and then see if it works and like try streaming and then if it doesn't work then i go back and do it but me yeah. just improve every time we do it yeah but and then it's also like it's either your fault or <laughs> it's the viewer's internet connection is fault yeah and then it's like well it's like oh like it's messing up and it's like well it's uh, or it could be twitch itself so it's like it's amazing how often i'll, I'll be in a chat room with like you know two thousand people and they're all talking and they're all communicating with the streamer and there's that one guy one guy that's like stream is broken stream is down <laughs> audio is audio is bugged yeah, I think that's not working. Yeah, I think that's that one guy that we were in here earlier because uh, he kind of quit, rage quit out. And it's like, <laughs> you don't get admin fluffs; you, you get mod, which is you know something we should or definitely have. Did uh, the modem vi- to peon? Uh, <laughs> I don't think he's gonna like that. But uh, but uh, fluffs, did your video fix itself? Yeah. Squire fluffs. Oh, there goes glitch. What glitch? Oh, uh, well, screen flicker. Okay, yeah, it's that- it flickers every like minute or so so it's not too annoying and it's only like half a second so mm-hmm. deal with it people <laughs> i'm working as fast as i can very good very uh good. okay uh nope. Nope. okay uh blink every one minute no uh so rockman 4 came out 
Oh yeah. Oh, that yes. It did. yes, it did. It's been like what? Uh, last pl- time I played, uh, I guess it was Rock Band Three. So that was how long ago? When did Rock Band Three come out? All I know is they took a really long hiatus. Well, that is Guitar Hero's fault for saturating the market so much that people got mainly turned off on it. So. Yeah, <laughs> it just got burnt burnt out on mm. it and then you had to purchase all these songs and yeah. it just mm. adds up and then you're you're buying songs on itunes at the same time and it's like yeah i mean i that's why i kind of like in rock bands four's approach is basically every if you have your own if you still have your own instruments depending on your console you might have to buy an adapter or something uh but otherwise they work still and all the songs you bought before you can download again uh my account got a little bit messed up between ps3 and ps4 and then mm-hmm. also uh i think the servers are a little bit crowded today <laughs> so yeah i, I tried imagine. to do it but it didn't work for me i'm thinking i'm just doing something wrong myself i think i'm not signed into something or, you'll get them eventually yeah uh rock band 3 came out in october 26 2010 so wow that's longer five than years. i thought uh but yeah we uh back in the day me fluffs and necro played that quite a bit and uh it's gonna be interesting to get the back the band back together. Yeah. Uh, though I have to say, Harmonix is kind of evil because I mean, at first I was like, "Oh, good for them," and then it's like, I don't know, real estate. When I'm trying to get everything, so I'm like, "Oh, crap," <laughs> kind of thing. Corey knows a little bit about this. Uh, so basically, uh, I, I, I thought I had everything ready to go. Everything was good, and then I pulled everything out. And I'm like, "Okay, where is the little dongle that makes it so you can connect the gu- guitar to the console?" Kind of thing. It's just like a usb stick thing they plug mm-hmm. in uh yeah okay uh i still love the fact that it's literally called a dongle the dongle well it's yeah it's called dongle. a dongle thingy uh <laughs> thingamajigger thingamajigger Thingamajigger. uh but yeah uh so i basically tore apart all podcast studios top to bottom checking every single box and i couldn't find it and then finally i rechecked one box and it was like the last possible box it could be Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and i found one and i need two so i have to go find either scour the whole area to find the second one or just go buy ebay and buy it like something ridiculously outpriced yeah because everyone's looking for the adapter right now too so yeah that's like the whole i think that's her mind's whole plan is because you can't buy the control a new guitar separately you have to buy the game and the guitar or game guitar drum mic you can't just buy the guitar. So it's kind of sucks because uh, like if you're missing just one piece, then you have to buy a game. I couldn't have that option because I bought it digitally first. And I'm like, okay, let me get everything set up. Oh, crap. I can't return this. I have to make this work kind of thing. So it's like, uh Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah. The way things are now with digital copies. and I don't, I don't know. If, can you use uh, – have you heard any stories about like you can use rock band – uh instruments with or uh, not rock band uh guitar hero instruments with rock band uh i know it works one way but like not the other i don't remember which works with what though i i know guitar hero live it's like completely you have to buy a new instrument and everything mm-hmm. and it's the whole live video thing which i don't get well i kind of get because it's now you can use it on your phone and which is like really big and then apple tv and other places i think it's on the wii the wii u too mm-hmm. so yay no. <laughs> it's just is it just me or or does rock band and, and guitar hero like all the guitars and instruments and things do, does is it just me or does it feel like the like the physical embodiment of like dlc you know all the extra content mm, that, uh, yeah sort of <laughs> new guitar new guitar <laughs> new instruments you song buy, pack if you want to be able to like access all the content you gotta buy the microphone <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, yeah, I think with the microphone, you could just get a USB microphone as long as you plug it in. But, uh, but yeah, like, uh, as long as, like, uh, the guitar works, that, that was the other thing. Is when I left some batteries in there and it kind of exploded a little bit. So I was kind of worried that one guitar was, like, completely destroyed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I have to buy another one. And it's like, uh, kind of thing. I just remember my, my drum set for Guitar Hero kept breaking. And yeah. It was just so unfortunate. You spent all this money and. It yeah. just keeps breaking. And... Yeah. Though I uh, I do know, like, as, like, each game comes out, they improve the instruments, but I have, I have like, the first generation instruments, so they're, like, kind of 
the buttons like click really loudly the mm-hmm. drones when you bang on it it's like you can hear it across the house yeah. kind of thing so it's like uh i mean i know they sell like the pads that soften it but then like here that doesn't make it so you can't hit the notes right mm-hmm. sometimes or they just fall off or it's just like uh what's the point <laughs> i mean it, I get what people say about you know these music games. Why don't you just learn the instrument themselves? And, but then that defeats the point of rocking out in your living room. Yeah, for uh, points. Yeah. yeah, for points and doing like it gives you such a good reward. You know, there's the audience cheering for you in the game. Yeah, you're you're not gonna like go out and just like suddenly have an audience for a concert or anything. that, and you have to spend like a good five or ten years learning yeah. guitar or an <laughs> a instrument and be good at it. We can't uh, all pretend like we're, we're musical maestros, you yeah. know. Just... Though you have the look of a musical maestro, I do have to say. <laughs> yeah, I played I piano say. for like seven years, something like that. Mm. I don't know. I didn't feel like I ever got actually good at it, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's just there. It was there. I could push a button on the piano, and then all of a sudden I could play, and then I could just move my fingers around, and it looks like I'm playing. Yeah. <laughs> Though I, I still have not gotten the guitar. I still want that. <laughs> from rock band three <laughs> the key tar yeah the key tar that was like something that we always wanted but we never got because it was like ridiculously priced oh it was the extra it was the extra instrument that was basically you could play the keyboard on rock band three. Oh, yeah it was like like every time we wanted it it was like 80 bucks and then like you dropped down to 60 at one time mm-hmm. and it was like after that it disappeared entirely also by oh. fluffs by fluffs okay yeah, yeah he's up Alright, I guess he. Bye, Fluff. I guess we're good. I mean, I'm I'm recording. I'm basically I'm recording this as a backup. So there's always going to be a file that will be uploaded to YouTube eventually. That's going to be good with good audio, like the best quality of audio that we're recording separately and everything. So it should be fine in the end. (laughs) Uh, so uh, what? Any games have you guys played recently? Kind of thing, or personally, uh, well, you you know the game that I just picked up. Um, uh, I don't know. You don't really we, play that many we games. Were ju- we were just talking about it. Uh, FTL. No. The 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 free one. Mm. So uh, speedrunners. Oh, speedrunners. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Uh, so we actually did a let's play of that uh, kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, uh, it was it was free on Steam for the weekend. I. I said what the heck i can actually run it on my potato of a computer yeah um, well it's a very simple game yeah it's a very very simple game simple concept simple graphics mm-hmm. but you know i i played it for like an hour i thought i was gonna sit there for like 20 minutes ha 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 dorky little flash mm-hmm. almost like a flash game you know on, on mm-hmm. some random site you no know, i sat there for like an hour it's just like i need to do more <laughs> i need to unlock all the characters i need all of this stuff you know um you, What's you the get, game about? It's basically just like a 2D, fast-paced side-scroller racing game. Yeah, so basically and, uh, you're dodging through obstacles and stuff, and if you fall off of the screen, you die. and basically that, some, Go back to the beginning? Well, no, if you die, then uh, it's basically the last person standing. Yeah. Oh. Kind of thing. Uh, it's a good tournament kind of game, so we might do that later on. Which uh, Speaking of which, we... Well, that still haven't, hasn't come out yet, because I'm busy. Uh, we, I think we're going to do some more tournaments in the future, I think. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I think I had a good time, though not as frequently as recording wise, because I I can't have too many people in podcast studios at once. <laughs> it like, gets a little bit crazy here. You like need a like a hammock anyway, or something. So yeah, that, yeah, that'll work out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've been I've been enjoying the heck out of it because it, it I don't know it just like gets your blood pumping and everything. It, it's it's simple and easy and yeah. and um, money's good. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, uh, there's just like some games like, uh, what's that soccer game that you like so much? The soccer car game? Oh, uh, Rocket League. Yeah. Like that's a good tournament game too. But the problem with that is you kind of need two separate recording studios to do that. And there's several games like that that would be perfect for us. But it's just like, we only have one studio right now. I mean, we could, in theory, do it. It's just, we would have to like take apart half the studio for like a night which i don't want to do yeah that's I a, spent lot a lot of work i spent a lot of money making sure everything's kind of set up here i don't want to take it apart rewiring soon. this sounds like a pain no nah, yeah it yeah. looks like it. <laughs> I, i'm trying to train other people to do it for me so in case i die <laughs> people know what to do uh how to decode your room yeah uh you know you guys it's like uh that you know that wall of like you know you get and there's like so much pictures and then you got like can construct uh there's a bunch of string connecting different pictures like a giant web mm-hmm. it's kind of like that 
Uh, You're a detective. Yeah. Detective, how to rewire Surfer's Room? <laughs> Impossible. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, and I turned off my timer, so I don't know how long we've been going. Uh, maybe it's going on in the background. Oh, we got five minutes. So six minutes. Okay. <laughs> Uh, any TV shows you guys been watching recently? Fear of the Walking Dead just mm. ended. Yeah, watched all the, all six episodes. Yeah, I, w- I watched that too. We're gonna do another discussion of that too mm-hmm. eventually. We're trying to get one more person to join us. Her schedule is kind of busy, so that might be later on. Plus, we can't record too much today. Mm-hmm. You know? Uh, but yeah, I've been doing that. I've been watching. Uh, I just saw the season finale of uh, Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Yes, that's been good. Uh, do you, have you been watching that? Go I on. haven't. No. Oh, oh you gotta watch that one. That's pretty good. It, it is it on Netflix or, uh, or what? What station is it on? Uh, it's on Adult Swim. It's Adult Swim. Yeah. Yeah, it's Adult uh, Swim. Uh, there is other places we can direct you. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't remember if it's actually on Netflix. Maybe the first series, but. Um. I think season one is. I'm, think, not, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Don't quote me on that, but I think it is. It would make sense if it was. I, I think so. I'm just sad because they, they kind of left it. I, I, no spoilers or anything, but they did kind of indicate that it was going to be a while before like the next season happens. You, so. Well, yeah, it was part of like the ending uh, cutout. It was like, we'll see you in like a year or half or two, maybe. You know, bye. <laughs> yeah, a year, year and a half. I mean that's the downside of animation and such. Yeah, I, the, yeah. That's the other show like uh, that I'm kind of sad for. It takes so long to do. Is that uh, Jack Horseman? Oh my God! Yes. Yes. Uh, did you? Is that there? Oh, well, that one's on Netflix. That's Netflix <laughs> that original. That makes you feel horrible for watching it, but you can't stop. It, it's good though. It Bojack is. Horseman. Bojack yeah, Horseman. it's it's. Uh, well, Mr. Flash should watch it. I, I don't know why he hasn't watched it already, but it's like. It's basically like a, a world with both humans and animals. Anthrop- that anthropomorphic, anthropomorphic animals. Yeah, anthropomorphic yeah. animals and stuff. But uh, it's really fun. It's like really one of those uh, adult humor kind of shows kind of <laughs> things. But it's like really it's, so, so has like really subtle dark themes in it to it. To not, it. not terribly subtle all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was like some Easter eggs and stuff hiding oh, in the yeah. background that's like kind of... But yeah, it's pr- pretty obvious sometimes. I think one of the best things about the show, though, is that they just, like, they, they give you, like, zero explanation for why there's just anthropomorphic animals everywhere. Yeah. They never, they never even, like, reference they it. They just want just, you to go with it. Yeah. Yeah, they, they just go with it. There's no backstory. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Uh, another show I've been watching is uh, Heroes Reborn. Uh, do they want to watch, watch the original series? I, I haven't watched either of them, but I did hear that, like, the new one was just, like, not that good. Really? What did, what did you think? I thought it was all right. I mean, I'm kind of a sucker for, like, the whole time skip <laughs> thing. So, like, I always like to see, like, characters, like, evolve over time kind of thing. So, mm-hmm. anything with time travel. So, I mean, it it definitely, like, kind of, like, takes what original series did and just kind of, like, leave it where it is and, like, go on and, like, get a whole bunch of new characters. So, if you really like the... If you're lo- really looking forward just seeing some old characters come back it's really not that it's really like they come on for five minutes and then it's like okay bye kind of thing or the reference in the background it's like an easter egg or something mm-hmm. but they're like, not the main characters anymore no i mean but that was like the whole point of the series in the beginning first like the first series uh season that was going to be the end of those characters in season two it was going to be a whole new cast like completely 100 mm-hmm. percent and there was going to be like kind of similar is they would be in the background but it was a new cast but then everyone complained that uh, when they found out that they wanted their characters back, so then the fans got their wish and everything came back, and then slowly over time, and then writers d- strike. Yeah, and then writers strike, and then it was just mm-hmm. yeah. I watched season one, yeah, and then I didn't watch it after yeah. that. I know that one. The whole series is on Netflix for though, so you can watch that too. <laughs> binge watch. Yeah, binge watching has its goods and evils, but yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's all pretty much I've been watching recently. Uh, any TV shows or movies you guys seen? I haven't had much of a life, so I, <laughs> I've been working too much. <laughs> no, just not, Fear the Walking really Dead new, and yeah. The Martian. And mm, yeah, that was actually like the first movie I've seen like a good couple months. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's been a while. I've been wanting to go to movies a bunch, but I just never got around to it. I, yeah, I always go to like the the cheap theater like around the corner from my house, like mm. three bucks for a ticket. Like, yeah. Yeah, 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 at that point, it's like it's just not worth it. it. Either the seats have to be good and everything has to be right, or I'm just gonna just wait for it to come on Netflix or whatnot. I like the three dollar theater that uh, by my house, though. Like the seats, eh, could leave something to be desired. Yeah, I, don't, I don't get why the cup holders have such a massive hole in them. <laughs> uh, 
sometimes the screen might be a little scratched or something. Mm-hmm. Sometimes the actual like film might be a little weird. But seriously, when I when I look at it overall, I'm paying three bucks for you know what I get. Yeah, it's good. You know. Yeah, I get what you're saying. It's just like it's I, either it's all or nothing for me. Yeah, yeah. I'm like. I'm also on... I'm, I gotta be pampered. <laughs> well, not pampered, but I'm like one, also one of those more like people that, you know, if you're making a lot of noise in the theater, it bug, oh bugs the heck out of me, or the kids are running down the high aisles and like... I do have to say, what, one of the nice things about the Theodolic Theater, theater is that there's not... There, there's usually not a whole lot of people there, yeah, except obviously. on like maybe Fridays, weekends, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so, so I love it. There, there's not a whole lot of noise going on or anything. Usually you can have an enjoyable experience, but... You can also have, like, some of the funniest things happen. Like, uh, I, I don't know if I ever told the story about uh, Ultron. No. Mm-mm. We went to go see Ultron at uh, Avengers at the $3 theater. Okay. And um, about halfway through, there's the scene where they go to... God, I don't even remember the guy's name. The, the guy Andy Serkis played. Whatever the heck his name was. Uh, U- Ulysses something. He had some sort of, He owned some sort of uh, plant that oh, produced the, ship the, vi- the vibranium, whatever. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the, the metal. Yeah. yeah. I think Out on the water. Yeah, vibranium. Yeah. Um, yeah, he, he produced that, so Ultron was going there to use it for his body. Blah, 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 blah. Avengers go there. Ultron goes there. There's like a face-off kind of thing. They're yell- They're like... You know, they're staring each other down, and, and Ultron has this line that's like, you will not defeat me, you, or you're, you're not going to stop me or anything. Right at that point, the movie died. Like, it literally just died, and it died slowly. You will not defeat Yes, it, it did exactly that. It's like, you will not did like the, it ran out of power. Did like the fr- the film like burn up on the screen? You know, like how like it does in movies. Right. Well, it was digital, also. Oh. <laughs> it like if if it was an older movie, yeah, it would have burnt up immediately. Probably. But uh, yeah, it it just fade. It just started. It looked like somebody had like turned off the light. We it, everybody in the audience actually thought it was like part of the movie. Like the lights went off. What's gonna happen? There's gonna be some explosions or something on screen. And yeah, it's like five minutes out. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> and it and it just went on like that for like thirty seconds, and then it just stopped. Then like, done. Did they get it back up eventually? They did. They did. And and they were pretty quick about it too. So props yeah. to them. But um, yeah, usually they have like <laughs> one or two projectors on backup kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Well, and and even better was uh, they, this isn't even like the first Marvel movie that that we've seen this happen to in the theater. Uh, oh. My mom went to go see Thor two with some friends or something, mm. and in the middle of the movie everything turned pink like the, the, wow. everything was just like tinted pink so was it like, breast cancer month <laughs> <laughs> or maybe like my mom was like looking up at the screen it's like all right thor barbie edition <laughs> you know just it was like hilarious. i'm thor <laughs> i'm thor i got lightning yeah. i'm thora thora <laughs> I mean, it goes with the the recent comic change, you know, like where they make oh, Thor. Oh yeah, when they make it. <laughs> uh, though it's uh, it's not the same character; it's just mm-hmm. a different person being Thor. I think it's uh, the the uh, uh, explore uh, writer chick in the movie. In the movie, I don't know. Oh, the the weather person, weather girl that he protects a lot is a love interest. I don't follow that. Oh, Natalie Portman, the Natalie Portman character. Oh. Is it Natalie Portman? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, her. I think she in the comics become she becomes sick and in order for him to save her he has to, he gives her the power and she becomes Thor. That's uh, kind of like She-Hulk or Wonder Woman, something like that, I guess. Uh but then uh I think the original Thor becomes the guy with the eye patch. I, I'm not the greatest at Greek mythology. <laughs> He earns the eye patch. Uh, becomes Nick Fury. It's just something that Odin just pops off and just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep, your turn. Yeah. Take it. But uh, I, I never actually lost my eye. It's just, mm. just like a symbol. Of <laughs> I'm really excited. To, I'm really still waiting for a uh, next Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes. Because oh that, my God. that was like. Two. Yeah, that was like out of all my Marvel movies. I'm still that was the, probably the best one it, because yeah. was, numero uno. I mean, Iron Man was still pretty good, and uh, there was a. a like, I'm a sucker for World War II, so Captain, the first Captain America I liked a lot, but not a lot of people did like that one. And apparently liked the second one, which I didn't care for, which is weird. Honestly, I, I did actually like the second one quite a bit, but, you know, 
the the first one I think what threw a lot of people off was like it, it felt kind of campy you know like it, there's a lot of song and dance literally and figuratively <laughs> um, obviously <laughs> there yeah it, it and the whole thing with like the uh, what, what what's what's his crew called the I know what you're saying. Yeah, the, the Irish guy, the Asian guy, the, you know, they all felt like caricatures, which they absolutely were in the comics, so it kind of translated a little weirdly. Yeah. Uh, but whatever, you know. I don't know, I, I guess the, big, I I guess the biggest throw-off that in the second one was like, Nick Fury died, I'm like, uh, yeah. yeah, bullshit. <laughs> yeah, that's, like, that's a cop-out right there, but um, yeah, I, I feel that. And then also, <laughs> I can kind yeah, of figure yeah. out too, like, the guy that was uh, the Winter Soldier, I was like, he's important to someone in the previous movie somehow. Uh, Though I think there was also a few links that leaked out at the same time. Yeah. But oh no, just the Guardians Galaxy was just like the right amount of action and comedy and like just like good moments. All no, I wasn't expecting character. anything yeah. Yeah, yeah, from yeah, that. You felt for the characters. Yeah. You, you had fun. Yeah. Which uh, how did you feel about the whole Iron Man trilogy? Did you guys... The whole trilogy? First one, great. Second one, eh. Third yeah. one, ooh. Yeah. I don't know. I thought... <laughs> I thought... First one was good. Second one's No, right. I see what they were going with, but you know, it's kind of got muddled yeah, through I that. But Joseph then it was like... Just kind of started to... Three had its ups and, ups and downs, and then it was like... Towards the end, I was like, I don't care anymore. Kind of thing. I'm like... <laughs> okay, now it's a little bit too bombastic. <laughs> yeah, it's, too, it's it went too, too left field. Oh, the man <laughs> Yeah, um, I, I prefer I, the first one. I always think like the first one. Well, is that, the best. that um, but that kind of spurred off everything else, yeah, kind of things. Yeah, it really <laughs> did. It kicked off like the entire series. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and the Incredible Hulk or whatever was was kind of decent or something, but nobody really expected that to yeah. go anywhere. <laughs> Though a lot of people like the Hulk and Avengers and stuff. Do you think Marvel will ever go back and do a Mar- uh, Mark Ruffalo Hulk? It doesn't seem like they were <laughs> planning to. Sadly, It'd be the third different. <laughs> actor playing the whole in like thing. a decade or yeah. two yeah, yeah. which like, is kind of sad because you know i i love mark ruffalo yeah. in, the, in the in the story but um at the same time i can i can also see why they would want to avoid that kind of thing it, it's it's just too much of a task yeah i mean they could do the whole planet hulk thing but then like uh, what was that one movie that bombed really badly uh oh john carter the, the John Carter proved that didn't really do so well. Because everybody knew what that was. <laughs> yeah, I know, the whole Mars thing. Uh, like that was a comic or a, like a graphic novel or something? It was... Yeah. I, f- I think it was a book. It effort. was a book? I think it was a book. Mm, okay. Might have been a comic. It was book-ish kind of thing. But then just... It, changed, it had too many cooks in the kitchen, per se, kind of thing. And just like... I think. Yeah. Uh... But yeah, I also heard that uh, Mars now has water, actually running water on yeah. it, kind of thing. Oh yeah, the big yeah. Uh, the big announcement from what was it Monday? A couple weeks ago or a so. Couple weeks ago, no, yeah, wow. Well, yeah, doesn't probably. seem like that long. But, but uh, I know that like they kept finding ice before, but this is like the actual first time they actually found running. water, kind yeah. of thing. I mean, so that's kind of kind of interesting to see. Yeah, like, pretty like, incredible. <laughs> I'm wondering if it if there's anything in swimming in it, kind of thing. Yeah. But you can, uh, you can hope. Yeah, do I get a segue for that point? <laughs> uh, One point. Yeah, speaking of space stuff, you know, there's... Hey, is, is, this, is this my cue to leave? <laughs> yeah. Well, no, speaking of space stuff, uh, there was also... Uh, you guys were saying something about photos, maybe? Yes, indeed. Yes. Uh, NASA released about, like, 10,000 uh, pictures from, like, Apollo missions, a lot, of, a lot of them being from, like, the original, you know, Apollo 11, mm-hmm. um, some from Apollo 13, uh, and... Were there were there for, uh, some from afterwards or? Uh, I feel like it was just based around the moon missions, mm-hmm. so. Uh, yeah, is yeah. it is it like everything from like Apollo eleven to like, uh, what is it like seventeen or? I th- I think so. I haven't gone through all of them because there's Obviously. so many. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I've studied everyone individually yeah. in incredulous detail, yeah. Yeah. looking for evidence of sabotage. Which, which is actually interesting, considering there there have been some people who have gone through and, like I said before, they they've done like a whole bunch of like color correcting for these things, which is amazing. I mean, the thing was out for like a day, and people already had like full galleries on like imagery mm-hmm. and everything, like. Like, hey guys, look, I color corrected these old photos so you can see it in like even better color. And like, wow. Is that- <laughs> I've uh, I've followed a few YouTubers that are like really sciencey and stuff, mm-hmm. and like one of them was like uh, Scott Manley who went to like NASA and stuff, and he talked to like uh, 
like uh, one of the photographers that was like trying to uh, save some old pictures and stuff. But it's like, uh, like in the nineteen sixty or something, they've like took the, these photos that were like super high quality, like they're like four K resolution today. Yeah. It's not. It's not. It's not exactly that, but it's just like you could blow it up so much that you can see so much detail in these photos. It's just like amazing that mm-hmm. that technology existed back then. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, and, and then also like my astronomy class, like I learned that like there's just like hard drives, like mountains of hard drives with data that someone just needs to go through. It's just sitting there, no one's doing it mm-hmm. because there's just like so much out there that you can actually volunteer and like go through the data kind of thing to speed it up and such. Uh, they can, just need the manpower to yeah. go through it. I wonder if you could name any hit discovery <laughs> that yeah. you find. <laughs> Look what I found. Uh, the surf reduced constellation right here. <laughs> Fluff's constellation. Yeah, it's it's smaller than mine. Uh, but Corey yeah. the comet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I think that's about it for this podcast for right now. Uh, yeah, no, I want to play some rock band. Yeah, we're gonna do that a little bit later. After the Martian. Yeah, after the Martian discussion. Here, pod, here on podcast.com. Make sure to subscribe to our tw- uh, Twitch uh, channel. Subscribe to our YouTube channel because that's where it's gonna go up eventually too. Uh, check out subscribe to our Twitter because that's where we're gonna announce when we. Act- Hopefully we're going to go live in the amount of time that we... Hopefully there's no text, text board that we have to do. Uh, but yeah, check out our social media links. Check out uh, podcast.com and we should see you next time. And thank you Bye. for watching. Yes. Thank you. Bye. Come again. Bye.